So you're interested in futuristic cities and want to draw some of them yourself? Well, you've come to the right video. Because I am also a huge fan of these gigantic mega cities and will show you how you can create futuristic city drawings yourself. Let's start with the sketch of the background. I usually insert blocky shapes as buildings, often also from the side or above, to create more depth and more interesting skyscrapers. Then I also add sometimes highways, trainways or wires. And then there are the cars, flying cars to be precise. Let's check out, for example, my friend's graphite shades drawing. Look at how small yet recognizable he made those flying cars. Really epic. If you're working with Procreate, you could and also should use the grid tool and the perspective assist. You can turn them on if you go to your actions tab, select canvas and after that you turn on drawing guide. If you want to edit it, it's possible to do so by pressing edit drawing guide. By using this feature, you can get the proportions you want much easier and also faster. Now to the foreground sketch. This should be, in my opinion, in a different color. That way, your eye can much easier spot the difference between the background and the foreground and coloring your artwork will be a lot easier as well. I would probably place a second scene with or without a figure into this part. If you want to bring across a message to your audience, I would advise you to pay extra attention to the things you put into this part, because those ones are especially visible while they are here. Now let's get to the final part, which is coloring. Your background and foreground really depend on each other. If my foreground is darker, I usually make my background brighter and when my foreground is brighter, my background is gonna be darker. There are times when I keep both my background as well as my foreground darker or brighter and separate those two with a harder or softer outline. Just like I did here or here. Creating a visible contrast is key to an outstanding artwork. Now you may ask, what colors should I use? And my answer is that it's really up to you. I prefer using a brighter blue, magenta, orange and purple contrasted to their darker shades. I personally wouldn't use more than 4 or 5 colors because it would just damage the color balance of my work in my opinion. If you want to create the neon glow effect for leathers or billboards, there's a simple way of doing that. First you actually use white as the base and only after that you choose the color that you want and add it using a softer airbrush, just like that. You can also add subtitles to make your work extra impactful and deep. That way you can definitely impress your friends. Editing your work can also upgrade its quality. Sure you can use the tools that Procreate gives you, but I've got used to editing my drawings in Visco or even just simply where I have my photos. This could seem unspectacular, but most of the time you don't need actually that much editing. After these steps you're basically done. Congratulations! If you decide to share it on Instagram, make sure you tag me into your piece. This way I'll be able to check out your creations without missing any of it. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you later.